This video will cover information related to subtopic 5.4, cladistics, and we'll specifically go through how to build a cladogram. So in building a cladogram, we need some organisms uh, that we are going to uh, classify. And in this particular cladogram that we're going to build is going to be based on structural uh, features. So we need to identify traits or characteristics um, of our organisms that we're going to use um, to differentiate or uh, characteristics that they have in common. So when I look at these organisms here, some of the traits that I can see um, are that there are four limbs, there are ears present, um, there um, is the presence of a tail, there are wings on Charizard, and um, there are teeth for War Turtle and Charizard. So once we have these traits uh, chosen and determined, um, we can organize these traits into a chart with our organisms uh, to keep track of um, which organisms have what traits. So we'll start with this trait of ears. And when we look at Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff has ears, so we'll add a check mark. War Turtle has ears. Pikachu has ears. Poliwhirl does not have ears. And Charizard has ears. Next is this trait of tail. Jigglypuff does not have a tail. War Turtle has a tail. Pikachu has a tail. Charizard has a tail. But Poliwhirl does not. And then um, for this trait of uh, teeth, no teeth on Jigglypuff. Teeth for War Turtle. No teeth on Pikachu. No teeth on Poliwhirl. Charizard has teeth. Oh, the trait of having four limbs is present on all of them. Polyworld has four limbs, so far it's the only thing that he has. Common in, uh, with the rest of them, Charizard has four limbs. And then for wings, um, Charizard is the only one here that has wings. So the rest do not have wings. So once our chart is filled in, um, we can use this to now uh, build a Venn diagram to help us organize our information a, a little bit better or to get a sense of um, how our uh, cladogram may look. So when we're building our Venn diagram, um, we're going to start with a circle. It kind of looks like a square, but we'll call it a circle. Um, a big circle um, that will be on the outside. And this will represent the trait or the characteristic um, that is most common or shared by all the organisms. In this case, it is this trait of having four limbs. And then we'll indicate those organisms that have four limbs. So in this case, it's all of them. So it's Jigglypuff, Poliwhirl, Pikachu, War Turtle, and Charizard. So we'll draw a second circle um, inside the bigger circle. And in this circle, it'll be the trait um, that is the next most common um, to all of these organisms. So it's this trait of having ears. And it was only Jigglypuff, Pikachu, War Turtle, and Charizard that had ears. Poliwhirl did not have ears that we could identify. And then we can draw our next circle inside um, that second circle. And this is, again, the trait that is the next most common to all these organisms. And so that is the trait of having a tail. And it's Pikachu, War Turtle, and Charizard that have a tail. So no tail on Jigglypuff. And then the next trait that is uh, the most common or um, that is only contained by a few number of organisms is this trait of having teeth, um, which are just War Turtle and then Charizard. And then the most specific trait, or the trait that is um, the least shared between the organisms, is this trait of having wings. And we can see that it is only Charizard that has wings. So now, once we have our Venn diagram constructed, we can use this to build our cladogram. So here is our cladogram that we will use to organize our uh, organisms. 
Um, at the bottom of our cladogram is where we will place the uh, feature that is the most common uh, between all of our organisms. And then at the top is where we will place the trait that is the least common. There are these uh, branch points here that denote uh, speciation or um, um, uh, branching off events, well, speciation events or evolutionary events. Um, and these branch points would represent a common ancestor. And so the first thing we'll do is add in our traits to our cladogram, starting with um, the most common trait, which is that of four limbs. So this is the trait that is shared by all the organisms. If we go back to our Venn diagram here, we look at the next most common trait, which is this trait of ears. We can place that into the next spot on our cladogram. On our Venn diagram, it is this trait of having a tail. It is then the next most shared uh, characteristic or trait. So we place that in our cladogram. And then the trait of teeth. And then finally, the least shared trait would be that of having wings. And then now we are ready to place our organisms onto our cladogram. So we'll start with the um, We'll start by using the trait that is the least shared, so we'll work backwards. So Charizard is the only one that has wings, but it does have four limbs, ears, tail, teeth, and wings. And then the next organism that shows four limbs, ears, tails, um, and teeth would be War Turtle. And then um, the next organism that we'd place on here would be um, that those that have tails. So Pikachu has a tail, which is a trait that he shares with War Turtle um, and uh, Charizard. And then the trait of having ears is shared between Jigglypuff, Pikachu, War Turtle, and Charizard. And then we have Poliwhirl, um, which shares that trait of having four limbs um, with the other organisms. Now. Once we have our cladogram constructed, we can start to determine some evolutionary relationships. So for example, here, this um, branch point um, would suggest a common ancestor uh, between War Turtle and uh, Charizard. And it would suggest that the, the common ancestor between uh, War Turtle and Charizard was a wingless uh, ancestor. Um, and then we can also determine, for example, that this trait of uh, four limbs was the first to evolve, um, and this trait of four limbs has been around uh, for a long time. And then if you want, um, the length of the line can also potentially indicate um, how long um, um, the speciation event uh, occurred that led to Poliwhirl. So Poliwhirl is, has been around uh, the longest. Um, so, you know, it's probably the oldest uh, type of uh, Pokemon, whereas Charizard would have evolved uh, more recently. And there are other evolutionary relationships that we can probably uh, get out of this, uh, but we don't need to identify them all in this video. So that is the end of this video on how to build a cladogram. So you are now ready to build your own cladogram. Please see the assignment page for more details.